I know that there are a lot of ways to attract realtors to your brokerage, but I'm going to specifically talk about how you can leverage social media to help you in your recruiting efforts. Hi, my name is Chiyoko Kikino. I'm the Senior Vice President of Brand Growth for Century 21 Canada, and I'm also the host of the Real Estate Real Success podcast. All right, let's get started. Here's your C21 checklist for using social media for recruiting. Checklist item number one, determine your target list. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is put together a full list of all the realtors in your market who you want to join your brokerage. So you might already have this list. If you, have, if you don't have this list, you're gonna to want to put one together. That's gonna to take some research. However, I'm sure you know all the top producers in your market, all the people who are influential in the industry in your market. So put together that list and then prioritize that list because now we're gonna use that list to cross-reference it in the various social media channels. Checklist item number two, connect with them on the various social media channels. Now that you have your target list, now you can use that to cross-reference it with the various social media channels. So you're gonna to wanna to take that list and go one by one and look for that particular person on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You can do some of the other social media channels, but those are the basics. So find that person and connect with them. Now, if your target is new agents and you don't know who those people are, then you might wanna look at various groups that are targeted towards new real estate agents. So some of the colleges I know have uh, real estate groups. You're not gonna be able to promote your brokerage very much, but you can connect and you can comment and engage on those posts. You might want to also um, join any other groups that might have to do with the real estate industry that you know that a big portion of the realtors in your market are part of. Checklist item number three, engage in their posts. Now that you have connected with your target list on the various social media channels, you're gonna to wanna to go in and now engage with their posts. So that means to like, or to comment on their posts. Um, you have to be careful on LinkedIn because if you like or comment on a post, of course that pushes through your feed so everybody will see that you liked or commented on someone else's post. But on Facebook and Instagram, they wouldn't know unless they actually went in to see the comments or went in to see who liked the particular post. So schedule time in your day to go through social media and start liking and commenting on posts because that shows the other person that you are watching them, that you are engaging engaging with them, that you care about them, and it starts to build that relationship with them. So schedule time in your day to do that and to get active on social media because chances are their broker might not be doing that. Checklist item number four, define your value proposition and brand personality. When you're looking at creating content for your various social media channels, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have clearly identified your value proposition. So how do you differentiate your brokerages from other brokerages in the market? What do you offer? What's the value that you and your brokerage bring to real estate professionals? The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is to identify your brand personality. Is your personality fun? Is it being funny? Is it being a thought leader? Is it being more professional? Is it a person that you know wants to um, provide value to realtors and wants to coach and train realtors? Is it supporting the community? What kind of persona are you trying to create? And then make sure when you're posting the content that you're always speaking from the same voice. Checklist item number five, define your target audience. Before you start curating any content for your brokerage, you're going to have to determine who your target audience is. So who are you talking to on your various social media channels? Are you talking to consumers or are you talking to realtors? Many times I will look at brokerages, social media channels, and I'll find just a mismatch of consumer information and realtor information. So to clearly provide value to your audience, you're gonna to want to clearly identify who your audience is. So go through all of your social media platforms and determine who you're talking to. Checklist item number six, communicate your value proposition. Now that you've clearly identified your target audience, so who you're talking to, you also spent the time in determining and clearly articulating your value proposition. So what your brokerage does differently than any other brokerage in your market. You've also spent the time to identify your brand personality. So how you want to come across on your various social media platforms. So now it's time to curate some content. So you're going to want to find ways to communicate your value proposition through all your various 
social media channels. So if your value proposition is that you have a supportive and collaborative culture, and that's what's different from any other brokerage out there, then you're going to want to look at ways to express that and to show that you have this supportive and collaborative culture. So you might want to take pictures of your office meetings, or maybe there's training sessions, or maybe you're having a wine and cheese with your realtors, or you're doing a, some, a summer barbecue or something fun with your realtors outside of the office. You're going to want to make sure that you take pictures and you share all those great things that you're doing through your social media channels. Checklist item number seven, look at ways to add value. Now that you have determined who your target audience is, uh, whether it's on one social media platform and, or on all the social media platforms, but your target audience is realtors. So now you're gonna wanna ask yourself, how do I add value to realtors in my marketplace? Um, so you're gonna want to think of ways that you can provide them information that's gonna help them. So again, maybe position yourself as a thought leader, as being supportive, as being collaborative, as helping them be more productive and more successful in their careers. So maybe if right now, because inventory is low, maybe you wanna talk about three things that they can do to generate more listings. So any content that you might think is valuable to a realtor, you're gonna to want to look at ways and that on which you can communicate it and express it through your social media channels. Checklist item number eight, put yourself out there. These days, people want to follow people. They don't necessarily want to follow businesses. So you're going to have to put yourself out there. You know, you're going to have to film some video and put some video out through your social media channels so people can see your personality and your passion and your enthusiasm. That's going to get people getting to know you a little bit better, the type of person you are. It's going to start to build a relationship with them. You know, maybe it's taking pictures of you congratulating an agent in your office. Maybe they just won an award and you're actually giving them and presenting the award to them. Maybe you're working with someone one-on-one, -on -one, helping train them. So you're going to want to look at how you can show the type of person, the type of leader that you are for your brokerage. Checklist item number nine, repurpose internal content for an external audience. Many times brokerages aren't curating a lot of content for their various social media channels, but they are curating content for their existing agents and to be used internally. So sometimes um, I sit down with a, a brokerage, they're not doing, they're not very active on social media, but when I start to ask them what they're doing for their agents, they list a whole bunch of things that they're doing. So they're sending out a monthly newsletter, they've got a, a weekly video that goes out to their realtors, they promote their office meetings because they have industry speakers there, they have panels, they have you know market updates, anything that realtors wanna know. So they're doing all these amazing things, but they're not communicating it with the outside world. So all you need to do is look at all the great things that you're doing for your realtors and then take that message and repurpose it for an external audience. So for example, if you've got some great speakers that are coming up with office meetings and you're always, you do a video out to your agents communicating the agenda for your upcoming office meeting, just do another video that talks about your office meeting, but it talks to an external audience and then use that video and push it out through your social media channels. Checklist item number 10, share your brokerage's posts. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go through your brokerage's social media channels and just scroll through the posts because most likely you're gonna see that there's not a lot of likes and there's not a lot of comments. So it's critical that you share those posts through your own social media channels and get your management team, your admin staff, your marketing people, even some maybe realtors that are super great ambassadors for your brokerage, get them to start commenting on the brokerage's posts and get them to start sharing those posts out through their own social media feeds. Checklist item number 11, and this is our last checklist item. Make sure there are easy ways to contact you. You have done all the heavy lifting. You've created that target list. You've connected with that target list. You've identified your target audience. You've taken the time to clearly articulate your value proposition, your brand personality. Now you're starting to curate content on a regular basis. Now it's really important to make sure that you're super easy to contact or your brokerage to contact, or it's super easy to find out more about your brokerage. So make sure, go through all your social media platforms, make sure that all the information is up to date, all the fields are filled in, um, so your profile looks robust. And then also, if you have an Instagram account, you might want to open a Linktree account. 
because if you're talking about certain things on Instagram, you can't actually put a link to another website. So you're going to want to say link in bio and then they can go to your link tree account and they can go through and they can find that topic and then they can click through to an article or a video or something else that you've provided. Anyways, those are the 11 things that you can do using social media for recruiting. Let's review them one more time. Checklist item number one, determine your target list. Number two, connect with them on the various social channels. Number three, engage with their posts. Number four, define your value proposition and brand personality. Number five, define your target audience. Number six, communicate your value proposition. Number seven, look at ways to add value. Number eight, put yourself out there. Number nine, repurpose internal content for an external audience. Number 10, share your brokerage's posts. And number 11, make sure that there are easy ways to contact you. If you didn't have a pen and paper to write that down, don't worry, I can send you your very own hard copy. My contact information can be found on century21franchise.ca. Century 21 is one of the world's largest residential real estate company in the world with presence in 86 countries. Here in Canada, we are 11,000 plus strong and we're looking to align ourselves with like-minded individuals who share the same vision to what the future brokerages look like. So if you are interested in growth opportunities, please feel free to reach out to myself or my colleague, Gary Zalefa. Our contact information can be found on century21franchise.ca. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and happy recruiting.